OSI model. OSI model is a open system interconnection which was developed by ISO International Standards Organization for connecting open systems. This model is used to connect the open systems and to share the data, to send and receive and again to send and receive. Like if you if we take an email as an example, one node or one host will be sending the email and one host will be receiving the email. For that process, in uh, we need two types of reference models. One of it is open system interconnection, that is OSI reference model, in which will be will be having the having seven layers. They are application layer, presentation layer, session layer, transport layer, network layer, data link layer, frame. Sorry, data link layer, physical layer. Here, coming to the application layer, when a node coming to the sending system, as we as I shown in the figure sending host uh, first when we send an email the data is sent to the application layer where we will be accessing the emails like sending receiving this uh, viewing it or downloading the files or attachments which we have sent or received like for example application layer includes email email application for example if we use Gmail, Google Mail. Then, if we want to view, will be uh, if we want to view the sent or received, we'll be going through the sent mail or inbox. And then coming to the presentation layer, when the application layer is received the data, that then it is transmitted, it or it is transferred to the presentation layer. The presentation layer is the layer in which the data is represented in the format of which it represents. For example, if it is a picture, if the data is a picture, it will be representing in the formats of image like image like dot uh, jpg, dot png, and etc. If the data is an audio file. It will be in the format like .mp3, .wav, and etc. And if suppose it is a video file, it will be like .avi, .mp3 files, and etc. This presentation layer will present the data in which format the data is, and then the data is sent to the session layer where the connection is established between the two nodes. This session layer establishes the connection between the two nodes. And all the uh, checking, the, uh, all the process of checking the connection, whether it is a uh, efficient connection or whether any bugs are there, all these things are taken care by session layer. And coming to the transport layer, the data again is sent to the transport layer where the data is divided into some segments. Then uh, that segments are sent to the network layer where the IP address is added to the segment and converted it into the packet then the network layer after converting the segment into the packet by adding the IP address is sent to the data link layer where MAC address is added to the packet where the MAC address is added to the packet and it is converted into the frame and that frame is sent to the physical layer where it was where it is converted into bits in the form of raw bits like ones and zeros and ones and zeros and etc and these ones and zeros are transmitted through a connection medium like it might be a wire copper wire five five copper wire or uh, or, or it might be a fiber optics or it might be a wireless connection 
wireless connection medium and it is sent to the physical layer of the receiving host then the bits are sent to the physical layer and that bits are sent to the data link layer where in the form of frame like the bits are framed and sent to the data link layer and the MAC address is removed and then it, it is it will be in the form of packets which is sent to the network layer and then the network layer is uh, and in the network layer the packet is sent to the uh, transport layer by removing the IP address then that segment or that packet which was which is removed so in which the IP address is removed is called as segment and that segment is sent to the transport layer which is sent to the session layer in the form of data in the form of data and that data again is sent to the presentation layer which converts the data into the required format in which the data is like for example it might be an audio file and it might be dot mp3 file the presentation layer converts the data into the into its format if it is an audio file it will be converted into the dot mp3 or dot wave or dot etc and that is sent to the application layer where we will be uh, viewing or feeding the data like if like for example it might be a document we will be viewing it uh, or else it might be an audio file we will be hearing it and etc and this is all about the OSI model what we see now thank you